Think about the shapes that you see in your everyday life. A lot of these shapes that you see are shapes that you can identify. They have a name, triangle, square, circle. But organic shapes are shapes that are different. They're freeform, they're curved. It's impossible to name all of the organic shapes in this world. When you take a look at some of these images of cardinals, you might be able to use some of those shapes, whether geometric or organic, to make some of your cardinals. As you take a look at these cardinals, let's go ahead and start out beginning with the end in mind. To begin working on this project, I'm going to go ahead and grab a brown piece of paper and start drawing out a limb or a branch for my cardinal to sit on. Now, when I started drawing this, I started thinking, okay, um, I need to make a branch so that it's long enough, large enough for my cardinal to sit on. So try not to make it an itty bitty small branch, but go ahead and try to draw it nice and large. Now that you've drawn it and cut it out, glue it down onto your background piece of paper. Any extra glue, just go ahead and smear that off to the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside for a moment and start beginning with a circle. You know, when you start drawing your um, body for your cardinal, I want you to go ahead and draw it the best that you can. Don't worry about making a perfect circle, just do the best that you can. Now that I have my circle made, I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. One of the things that I started thinking about when I began drawing the body pieces of my cardinal shape, I started out with a plain basic geometric circle, a circle that could be used as the cardinal's body. And then I glued on two triangular shapes for its beak. I used part of the black paper to draw a curved line or semicircle, half of an oval, something that could be used for the mask part of the cardinal like we saw at the beginning of the of the um, movie. Now that I've got the crown made for my cardinal body, I also noticed that a cardinal has a crown. Part of the hair of the cardinal's head sticks out of the paper. Notice how I used the circle to decide how big to make the crown? That was really helpful to me. Using that as a basic starting point, I'm gonna go ahead now, glue down the body of my cardinal, glue down the crown, of my cardinal and then I started thinking what other body parts do I need well I'll need a wing and a tail I'm using the leftover scraps of red paper to start using the circle so that I knew about how big I wanted the tail to be it's always better to start off with a big shape because you can always cut it down smaller I drew a nice big tail as big as I could fit and then I'm gonna arrange where I want to glue that down it's a little bit too big, I'm gonna snip off just a little bit. Perfect. Now that I've got a tail glued on to the bottom of my um, cardinal, I need a wing yet. Again, using scraps of paper, place it onto your cardinal without gluing anything down. So I have an image of about how big I want the wing to be. I want it to extend on the outside of the circle. So again, I'm drawing it larger. I can always cut it to make it smaller. Ah, now that I've got the wing put on and I like the size, I'm gonna glue that down as well. Now, now that I have a basic starting point of my cardinal's body, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my oil pastels to give it a little bit more detail. I'm gonna use a black oil pastel and outline and design to make it look like the wing has some texture or pattern to it. Using oil pastels again, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing on an eye for my cardinal bird and with my oil pastels I'll also go ahead and use those once more to make a few more designs on my cardinal body. These are some optional ideas of things that you can add onto your cardinal project. A little bit of texture, some snowflakes into your background. Oil pastels are fun to decorate with. This is a punch that I have available for those of you that want to add on some snowflakes that are already pre-cut that you can glue onto your project.
And lastly, I'm going to use some leftover construction paper that I could use to make a scarf for my cardinal. Again, it's kind of a fun optional thing that you can do if you want to give your cardinal a little bit more interest and make it a little bit creative and fun for this project. Don't forget to put your name at the bottom of your project. I hope you had fun making this winter cardinal project.